Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. Do the codes work together? What happens if they conflict? That's a great question, and it's one that I get all the time. Come on and let's take a look. Here's a breakdown on the hierarchy of codes. First, if there's a conflict between two or more codes, use the more restrictive requirements. For example, in stair reentry, the IBC only allows either stair ingress side to be unlocked all the time using a passage set, or they allow the doors to be locked on the ingress side, provided that the doors can be unlocked simultaneously using fail-safe positive latching devices. In NFPA 101, the Life Safety Code, they have those same two provisions, but they also allow you to mechanically lock the doors as long as on every fifth level, there's a way to re-enter from the stair side. IBC would be more restrictive than NFPA 101, and should be followed unless you have written permission from the authority having jurisdiction. Next, you would follow specific requirements over general requirements. For example, smoke barrier doors in general must be 20 minute fire rated and either be self or automatic closing or have power operators, as well as some kind of positive latching device. Double egress doors in an I2 healthcare occupancy smoke barrier they're not required to have a fire rating and where permitted by the door manufacturer's listing, they don't even require positive latching. And finally, codes are always gonna take priority over standards. This is because the codes are written based on the occupancy type as well as building construction. And therefore the code determines the risk factor and adjusts the requirements in the form of either exceptions to be a little bit lighter or to have more restrictions, tighter restrictions on occupancies that require it. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email me with code questions at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.